Alright, hello people, I'm the dude, and this is Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, we wrapped up downtown, and we have to go find Gary in Hollywood. Yes, we have to find Gary, and to find Gary, we have to find Isaac, and to find Isaac, we have to go to Hollywood. So, that is where we're headed. Need a ride. Yes, I do. Hollywood, my friend. seen you here before. And if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. That's where I was headed anyways. Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. I'll head over there. You'll have to forgive me, I'm eating some chips. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into the Deb of Night. The Deb of Night. Nobody... Shut up, Deb. So, yes, we're gonna go to the convenience store first to get a new gun. And then we're gonna go buy another gun, because they're better than the guns we have. What's up? Oh. Uh, welcome to Red Spot, home of Monster Tag. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents, blah blah. You need help or something? Monstro chug. Sounds good actually, let's see. Um You hear anything new about the serial killer? Uh this isn't gonna turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not like a serial killer, are you? Chocolate syrup for peanut butter. Chocolate syrup for peanut butter. Dude, I have to dip these potato chips in something. <laughs> Dilemma for the ages. The guy behind me, I don't know if you saw him when I when I came in, there's a patron. He's a <laughs> he's not sure if he should get uh chocolate or peanut butter. Hmm. Anyways, uh am I a serial killer? A manner of speaking? Yes. I, I actually am. <laughs> not the one you're talking about though. Uh no, what else what what's going on around here? Anything interesting? Always. You should come out and see my band, the Bowl of Cereal. We're center, playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Five bucks, show, two drink men. We're gonna ruin the place. Have, like, Kung Fu or giraffe. <laughs> okay, the guy in the background's not done, apparently. Uh, let's see, I'll read that since you probably missed it. Always, I uh, asked him if there was anything interesting. Always, you should come to the see my band, a Bowl of Cereal. Funny, haha. Uh, we're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Five bucks, two drink men. Syrup for peanut butter. Oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna ruin the place. Dude, I have to Interesting. Potato chips yeah, and something. the Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore, but damn the girls in there, dude. It's like a midget smuggling ring in there. Right. Okay. <laughs> Great, maybe I'll go check it out. Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? I've played the game before, I do know. Uh, okay, I'll bite. What's the special? I'm glad you asked that, bro. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something, <laughs> I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapeful juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. You interested? I'm interested in... Oh my god. <laughs> 63, 15 more cents and you're going in my stomach, Choco Bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm interested in burrito tots, that sounds good, and grapeple juice, uh, and a gun, that's cool. Uh, of course, show me what you got. Where did I park my car again? Oh, wait, I don't even have a car, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love the guy in the background, I really do. <laughs> it just says guy, he doesn't even have a name. Uh, anyways, here's the gun I want, Anaconda. It's a beast. I mean, it looks like a beast, it kills people, it's a big-ass gun. Fun times. So we're going to buy that. And we'll get a bunch of ammo for it. There we go, we got 100 rounds. Uh, we're going to buy a new clothing outfit, which is actually armor. Apparently this one minus his dexterity, but that's not a problem. <laughs> Chocolate syrup or peanut butter. Dude, I have to dip these potato chips Just get them both, you asshole. Oh my god. 
Uh, 38. We're gonna sell this to piece of crap. We're gonna sell this to piece of crap. Uh, we're gonna sell this because we're about to get a better shotgun. It's just better in every way, so we don't need this one. I'm gonna keep the Glock for crappy enemies. Ones I don't need to use my ammo for my other guns. So, yeah, I think we're set. This guy. He, this is Guy, right here. He's the one talking about the Choco Bombs. Apparently. Like combine pizza and nachos together and call them piznachios? Man, I could go for some piznachios right now. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty damn good, my friend. It really does. Titabum, Coats, Auto Malk. All food should have, like, a creamy center and a colorful candy shell, and their commercial should have, like, Kung Fu or Giraffe. I don't know about all like food. Combine pizza <laughs> this and guy doesn't stop. And call them Piznachios? Man, I could go for some Piznachios right now. <laughs> Anyways, Chin Magazine. Fire. Says. Baked Says. <laughs> Boo Boo. Coot O. Coot O Kulo? Blue honey. Mm, me. Meaties. Oh, wait, I, I don't have a car. Have a car <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I think it says buffles. I, don't, I can't even read that one. I can't read that one either. Fritz. So there's a lot of knockoff stuff here. Can we get a kit? No? Um, okay. Alright. No, uh, no candy for us. Oh, we found some money back where the beer was stashed. So that's good. In the alcohol aisle. Money's good. I like money. I could have swore I told you to see the Baron. Yeah, that was a laugh. <laughs> so my sense of humor is a little skew, you know? Conflict just cracks me the hell up. Right, I could have sworn I ignored you. And I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Let's go, Chuckles. Oh, Chuckles doesn't want to fight. We could kill him anyways, but it's the middle of the street, so it's probably not a good idea. Hop in. Uh, we need to go back to Santa Monica, because that is where our new shotgun is. And I'm going to continue eating my chips, probably get a lot of messages for it, and, you know, dislikes and whatever. I, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. If this bothers you that much, don't watch the video. God damn it. Forgot to start my timer. I'm going to guesstimate that it's been about 10 minutes. So, whatever. <laughs> Hello, Mercurio. Haven't gotten the blood out of the couch yet, huh? Picked up a Spaz 15 this morning. Clean, oiled, and just waiting to put a hole through something. You interested? I am very much interested. So, yes, here's our new shotgun. It looks... Looks more like an assault rifle than a shotgun. But it is in fact a shotgun, and we're gonna buy it. And we're gonna buy a bunch of ammo for it. And I can't see my ammo. There we go. Uh, did we get the... Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, are you shitting me? I never even put... <laughs> that is brilliant. I am too smart for words, folks. I've had a new set of armor since we got to downtown and I haven't put it on. <laughs> uh, so we have a new shotgun, a new pistol, although it's more like a hand cannon, and we got a hundred rounds for both. That should be good. Let's put our armor on. This, this one right here is the one we got in downtown. I never put it on. It's uh, this purple suit, which is fairly cool looking. And then the new one is this leather jacket. Looks like I've got leather pants on, too, to mash. Lovely. Okay, I've never actually owned a pair of leather pants. I'm just not that cool. I, I can't rock leather pants and pull it off. I don't know many people that can. <laughs> but, uh... 
it'll work, I guess. We'll take it. So we need to go back to Hollywood again, now that we have our guns. And our armor. And we need to see the Baron of Hollywood. I think his name is something Isaac, Adam Isaac or something like that. Going some way. I'm going to Hollywood, friend. So yeah, we have new ways to put holes in people, which is good. That's what I'm all about. This guy's probably gonna show up. Isaac's inside. Again. <laughs> He's tenacious, I'll give him that. Cool cats. Okay. Bum ba dum ba da bum ba dum bum. Sunset print. Ooh, is there anyone else? There is someone over here. Okay, I was gonna numb on that guy because I'm missing Oh, excuse me, a little bit of uh Oh hey Troika. Ha! <laughs> play obey. <laughs> I'll play, but I'm not gonna obey, sorry. I was gonna numb on that guy, but there's too many witnesses. So I was missing a smidge of blood. Dun dun dun. Hello, Isaac. Good evening, neonate. Good Isaac evening. Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby faced two bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Um, he wants to know where the sarcophagus is? Uh, you tell me. One of your goons directed me here. Looking for the Nosferatu, that is what we're doing. So, you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. LaCroix must really be desperate to be stupid and sorting with their kind, and asking for my help of all peoples. Uh, right, okay. Uh, any idea where I can find them? Perhaps. However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. There is that. Uh, I don't like where this conversation is headed. Tell me old fashioned. But this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. Mm-hmm. So, what do you want? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer at the nearby internet cafe tonight. I think I do, Isaac. Let's see. Uh, you want me to make the pickup? Yeah. You want me to kill him? <laughs> Not delivering the item. It's a bit extreme. Uh, you're worried it's a setup, so you're sending me instead. Uh, why would it be a setup? We're gonna go with the first one. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Not yet. I'll head over immediately. Then we'll discuss my issue. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Well, thank you, my good man. He's so polite. So we need to go to the internet cafe, uh, find some computer. Computer's gonna send us to some guy. The guy has the movie. We bring the movie back to Isaac. In case you missed any of that, pretty simple in a complex kind of way. Ooh, lunch! Hello, friend. Get out of the way, lady. You see nothing. Keep your eyes straight ahead. Bum, ba -dum, ba -da -bum, ba -dum, bum. So yeah, we got that smidge of blood. In case we need it, we probably won't, but who knows. You never know. Oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. Oh right. We thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. Do we now? I completely forgot about this chick. She's from our past, before we got turned into a vampire. Uh, when we got turned into a vampire, we obviously disappeared. She's one of our old friends or something. And, uh, she's, she wants to help us. <laughs> it's not necessary, I'm fine. Is it drugs? Something like that? Look, let me make a call. We'll get you some help. Nobody's judging you. I'll be happy to know you're alive. Oh my god, I hate people like this. You tell them one thing and it's like you just never said anything at all. <laughs> I'm fine, lady. Uh, who the hell are you? It's me, Samantha. Don't you? Did you 
home and we'll get everybody together. We can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. <laughs> the important thing is they know that you're alive. The important thing is that you go away before I have to kill you. Uh, no, they can't. No, please don't. I don't think you know what uh, you're We're gonna help you. You'll see. Everybody just wants to see you safe and back to your own self. Wait here. I I'm gonna make a call. It's like I'm talking to a brick wall. But, uh, so yeah, she has to die. Is anyone around? There's someone in that alley, but we should probably be okay. Uh, we're gonna numb her to death. I guess we could blow her up. Although that might break the masquerade. Ah, screw it. Aww. She just wanted to help. And then she exploded. <laughs> she helped repaint the sidewalk. Ba -bum, ba -dum, bum. That's what you get, lady. I tried to tell you. Uh, oh yeah, right. We have a quest for the Lucky Star Motel. Let's do that. Uh, this is a long quest. Started way back at the beginning of the game. In case you've forgotten. Bum, ba -dum, ba -da -bum, ba -dum, bum. Let's see. Should be on the right side, I believe. That is locked. Uh, ooh, skill of eight. Ouch. We have a skill of four. We can augment that up to a skill of five, but that's not even close. So, yeah. Huh. Okay, so we're not getting in there. Would be the gist of that. Ah, there we go. Ah! <laughs> Rip the door off and then jump through the window after... Where did the body go? What the hell? The body just disappeared. Interesting. Quest complete. And we found... Ah, oh, right. Brothers Savage. S salvage. God, if I could speak. <laughs> Brothers Salvage. In Santa Monica. Yeah. So, I'll go over the quest real quick, since you've probably forgotten, because it's been literally since the beginning of the game. Okay, way, way back at the beginning of the game, we heard about a serial killer, and he had strung someone up on the harbor. Uh, when we went to the end of the docks, you saw, like, the body hung up, and the cops were talking about it, and all that stuff. That was the first murder. Then when we found the the bounty hunter guy, we were supposed to save him from Gimbal, the crazy guy with that was beating people with severed arms and stuff. Uh, he had the bounty hunter locked up. We saved the bounty hunter, and then the bail bondsman told us about another case to find some guy in the apartments, in our apartments in Santa Monica. Went looking for him, found an answering machine message. The message sent us to downtown. In downtown we went to the warehouse and we found the bodies that were all mutilated and the uh, the hobo who said, you know, I saw him, he was a monster and he ripped him apart and all that stuff. And then that guy, uh, where he was standing, there was another clue or whatever, uh, the key to this apartment right here. So that brought us to here. And then when we got here, you saw what just happened. The guy was here, the monster was here, and he killed the guy. And now we gotta go to Brother Salvage. Hopefully that wasn't confusing. It's a very long quest. Pretty much all you need to know. Uh, let's see. Bed. And rip the door off. <laughs> He's like, door handle? I see no door handle. <laughs> do, 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 boom, ba -dum, boom. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Apparently no one likes to go for a swim in this place. Maybe they're cleaning it. We have to talk to this guy later, so I'm not going to talk to him now. We're going to wait. In fact, I think we'll go ahead and track down the serial killer. Seeing as I just explained it, if I wait, you'll probably forget about it all, and then why did I even explain it? So, we'll go ahead and finish the quest. Why not? Space Burger! What is that? I can't read it. The font is too light. It says polymers? Something polymers? And then it's got a little kid with a kite, I guess? And then... That's the fucking robot from that kid's movie. What the hell is he doing here? I never even noticed that before. Wait a minute, that movie came out way after this game. What the hell? I have no idea. Anyways, whatever. I get distracted easily, in case you can't tell. Uh, Santa Monica. Have to go see a serial killer about a string of murders. Ding, 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 ba da bum, ba dum, bum. Okay, so here's Brother Salvage. Usually this door is locked. It should be open. There we go. 
dun, dun, dun. For a millennia, the Tismas have explored and refined their understanding of the vampire condition, bending their bodies and thoughts into new alien patterns and something something. It's about as fast as I can read, at least read out loud anyway. I think computer is too old to be used, I guess. Ding, ding, ding. So he's got some dog kennels with no dogs. Maybe he ate them, I don't know. Uh, this part gets interesting because he likes to throw things. Ah, shit. <laughs> he likes to throw things, in case you can't tell. Can I get out of here? Jump. Climb. Get out of the way, you stupid car. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. So yeah, the serial killer likes to throw things. He's not... He's not nice. Okay, hear him. There he is. Oh. Okay, he's still throwing stuff. Ba -ba -da, ba -da -ba -da. Whoa! See, now, why can't I do that? <laughs> I want to pick up cars and throw them. Oh. Whoa, shit. You little bastard. If one of these hits you, it'll either kill you or take away more than half of your health. So you gotta be careful. Uh, he does not play around. He's a really tough fight, too, whenever I actually get to fighting him. And he set everything on fire. And it exploded. It's still exploding. There we go. <laughs> We're gonna go around. And I'm pretty sure he's done throwing things. I'm pretty sure the boss fight is next. So I'm gonna save. Just in case. And we're gonna get our gun out, although I think it'll probably put it away. It usually does. Uh, yeah, we want blood shield and celerity. Hello, friend. Future friend, possible friend. Can we be friends, please? No! Back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! Okay, that is... 100% correct. You did nothing to me. <laughs> I agree. Uh, let's see. What's the matter? Afraid of a fair fight? Eh. Tell me why you did it. We'll go with that one. What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. But, friends. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, why do you have to make your nature known? Blah, blah. Uh, all the same, I'd like to hear an explanation. Why? Is it you can pass judgment on me? No. So Okay, uh, try to make me understand. We could babble about the masquerade. I don't care about the masquerade. We're gonna go with the second one. My family, my children were butchered by small time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there in the way? Okay, I'm, I'm on your side, buddy. You and me. Let's go kill him. Uh, let's see. There's probably nothing you could have done. Aw. So killing people made you feel better. Uh, we're gonna go with the one. The, the first one. Not one of them paid. My whole family dead. My life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen? No. Uh, I understand. I tracked them down. Hunted them. One by one. Caught them all. The one you saw in Hollywood. He was the last of the one you threw at me as I entered the door? <laughs> Not very polite, by the way. Uh, and so your revenge is complete. Revenge? Justice? Whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds, and licking their blood from my claws. Right. Uh, let's see, you have to have more control. You gave them to the beast inside of you. You got them, it's over. You can get on with life. Let me go with the third one. I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. Right, so apparently his vigilante spree is not over yet. Uh, that's the beast talking. <laughs> it has a hold of you. Uh, keep talking like that, I'll have to put you down. No, we're friends. I don't want to put him down. Uh, you're looking for excuses to indulge in your beastly nature. We'll go with the first one. At least I put it to use. Just cause. At least I did something. I saved this girl in a hospital. Uh, you better practice more control, or you'll end up answering to the sheriff. 
baby, but you lost control and have to be dealt with. Uh, now you must answer for it. Time to pay. Hmm. I don't know. We're going to go with the second one. Humanity gained. No one will take from me again. No one. Either we go our separate ways here or one of us dies. Hmm. Just remember, you made me do this. We're going to take him on. I'd rather not skip a boss fight. Even though I am on his side. He killed a bunch of people and murdered his family. Okay, cool. He wants to go kill a bunch of other criminals. Okay, fine. I'm cool with that. But, uh... I don't want to skip the boss fight. I want to fight him. So, I think we're going to fight him. Let's see. Hello. Blood shield. Celerity. He's in the way. I can't move. There we go. Get my gun out. Going down, friend. Ooh, reload. Rut row. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Don't do that either. I had behind the barrel. Oh, he threw the barrel at me. The barrel actually did damage. I had no idea that happened. Interesting. Where'd he go? Ooh, right in the face. Oh, I blood boiled him and ran out of blood. And then I killed him with my fists. <laughs> awesome, so we got humanity and a masquerade redemption. Very good. So it was worth killing him. Uh, in case you couldn't tell, uh, if you haven't played the game before, he was a gangrel. That is their war form. Uh, it's basically their unique ability. What makes them special? Turn into giant bat, werewolf, monster things and just rip you apart, basically. Oh, shut up. So as you can see, I'm completely out of blood. I need blood badly at this point, or I'm gonna frenzy. You look like you're fairly off in the dark over here. Let's see if we can numb on you. So yeah, I, uh, I blood boiled him, just for the extra damage. Even though it didn't insta-kill him, it still does damage. But uh, I ran out of blood and frenzied and then beat him to death. <laughs> With my fists. Okay, so we got some blood, and I don't think there's anything else to do in Santa Monica at the moment. We can't replant the lily because I don't have any social skills. So we're gonna go back to Hollywood, I do believe. Need a ride. Okay, sorry about that. Someone was at the door. At least it was at the end of an episode for once, instead of right smack in the middle. Uh, but anyways, that'll be it for this episode. Next episode, we'll talk to Isaac again, I suppose, and. Oh yeah, go to the internet cafe, that's right. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time. It's like midget smuggling ring. Right. Okay. <laughs> Great, maybe I'll go check it out. Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? I've played the game before, I do know. Uh, okay, I'll bite. What's the special? I'm glad you asked that, bro. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something, <laughs> I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapefruit juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. You interested? I'm interested in... Oh my god. <laughs> 63, 15 more cents and you're going in my stomach, Choco Bombs. <laughs> Sorry, uh... I'm interested in... Uh, no, what else, What what's going on around here? Anything interesting? Always. You should come out and see my band, the Bowl of Cereal. We're center, playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Five bucks, show, two drink men. We're going to ruin the place. Like Kung Fu or giraffe. <laughs> okay, the guy in the background's not done, apparently. Uh, let's see, I'll read that since you probably missed it. Always, I asked him if there was anything interesting. Always, you should come to the see my band, a Bowl of Cereal. Funny, haha. Uh, we're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Five bucks, two drink men. Syrup for peanut butter. Oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna ruin the place. Dude, I have to Interesting. Potato chips yeah, and something. the Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore, but damn, the girls are there. Monstro chug. Sounds good, actually. Let's see. 
Um. You hear anything new about the serial killer? Uh, this isn't gonna turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not like a serial killer, are you? Chocolate syrup for peanut butter. Chocolate syrup for peanut butter. Dude, I have to dip these potato chips in something. <laughs> Dilemma for the ages. The guy behind me, I don't know if you saw him when I when I came in, there's a patron. He's a <laughs> he's not sure if he should get uh chocolate or peanut butter. Hmm. Anyways, uh am I a serial killer? A manner of speaking? Yes. I, I actually am. <laughs> Not the one you're talking about, though. Alright, hello people, I'm the dude, and this is Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, we wrapped up downtown, and we have to go find Gary in Hollywood. Yes, we have to find Gary, and to find Gary, we have to find Isaac, and to find Isaac, we have to go to Hollywood. So, that is where we're headed. Need a ride. Yes, I do. Hollywood, my friend. Ain't seen you here before. If I hadn't seen you, neither was Isaac. So that's your next stop. That's where I was headed anyways. Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. I'll head over there. You'll have to forgive me, I'm eating some chips. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into the Deb of Night. The Deb of Night. Nobody Shut up, Deb. So yes, we're gonna go to the convenience store first to get a new gun. And then we're gonna go buy another gun. Because they're better than the guns we have. What's up? Oh, uh, welcome to Red Spot, home of Monster Tag. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents, blah, blah. You need help or something? 